The Try Guys drama continues, or does it? The Ned Fulmer scandal was one of the biggest scandals of last year. Lives were destroyed, relationships were ruined, and then everyone went silent. So what exactly happened and what has been happening since? Unlike Ned Fulmer, who continued living on with his $10 million in the bank, Alex Herring's life was ruined. She hasn't updated her LinkedIn, she's not working anywhere at present, she just completely went silent on social media and hasn't posted since. She's also deactivated the comments on pretty much all of her Instagram photos. And we know damn well that she's probably fuming that Ned Fulmer is still with his wife and they are living it up, basically. There was a happy ending for one person, though, out of all this drama, and that is Alex's ex fiance Pretty much she got with one of the fans of the Try Guys who had messaged him and exposed to him about Alex and Ned's cheating. Looks like there's somewhat of a happy ending after all this Try Guy drama. Alex Hearing's ex fiance Will, met up with the stranger that DM'd him the news that she caught Ned and Alex making out at a club in New York last month. Looks like the start of a great friendship and at least you know she has your back. People are like, oh my god, they're not together, they're just friends, it's just a friendship. But we know damn well from the look of that hug, it's probably something more. These were the messages that she had sent Alex's fiance when everything got exposed. She'd said, hi, I was just wondering if Alex was in New York City, because if so, I think there's something you should know, unfortunately. He'd responded, yeah, she was, why? The fan had said, so basically I went out to Niagara, the club last night, and saw her making out with Ned from the Try Guys. I have videos if needed. She was wearing a red dress, I don't know if that helps. He'd said, please send them to me, thanks. And then she'd sent through the videos. She'd said, if you slow it down, you can see she's in the red. He said, thanks. When was this? Last night? She'd responded, no worries. My apologies. I'm so sorry. Yes, last night. What time? Around 1 to 3 a.m. Where was this? Niagara by NYU. He responded, okay, thank you. And you know, this wasn't the first time that Alex had been caught cheating with Ned. Oh, no, 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 no. According to a leaked source from Domoi, she had actually cheated with Ned back in December of 2021. So it's hard to know if Ariel actually knew back then of the first cheating incident, but apparently she didn't. The source had messaged Domoi and had said, December 2021, Alex's fiance Will went through her phone and saw her and Ned had hooked up while on some work trip. They ended up staying together, but Will reached out to Ned, warning him to back off. Beginning of this month, I want to say, 9th of the 1st or 9th of the 2nd, Will and Ned's wife, Ariel, received videos and pictures from a few people, showing Ned and Alex making out at a club, as well as holding hands during the day in a market in NYC. Ariel had just landed in NYC to meet up with the Try Guys and the SOs, but got the news, confronted Ned, and when he confirmed him and Alex had been in a relationship, relationship for almost a year, she got back on a plane and came back to LA immediately. Not sure how the NYC event played out, but Ned and Alex were suspended almost immediately. When Try Guys had talks with employees, many said they noticed flirting, knew they had lunch hookups, stayed at each other's places occasionally, and showed up to events together, for example Harry Styles concert, and had big feels that something was up. So this news has been aware to the Try Guys for close to a month, but what sparked the social media questioning and then uproar a few days back was Will releasing some images of the DMs he'd received on Reddit. Obviously Ned has been fired. See, so yeah, Ned is already a multi-millionaire. He was actually the richest guy out of all of the Try Guys, so I'm sure this hasn't really hurt his pocket. He's probably more so just wandering around or bored and probably very, very embarrassed. Whereas Alex Herring, this was like one of her first major big jobs and she loved it so much. She put in a lot of effort, let's not lie, but what she did behind the scenes of the show was really disturbing, and it's definitely affected her. As we can see on her LinkedIn, she hasn't gotten a job since, or if she has, it's definitely not within the industry. Who knows, maybe she's changed her name, maybe she's moved cities, but yeah, she's keeping pretty private, and it's very weird that she has not yet made a statement on the whole situation. Ned did, even Ariel did. The Try Guys made 
multiple statements. In fact, they were actually praised for how professional they were about the whole situation. But one thing I want to say is that Ariel Fulmer has not been present on social media since the scandal took place. And unfortunately, people believe it's probably because she's a forgiven Ned. She was never fired from the Try Guys. They obviously felt terrible for her and they were there to support her and they even fired Ned. But you know, like the Khloe Kardashian situation, sometimes you can't stop a woman from running back to a bad guy. And if they are still together, there's no doubt that he's probably kept in touch with Alex since this scandal went down. He's probably messaged her and asked her if she's alright. And to be honest, he's probably still cheating on Ari if they are still together. What would fans think if they found out that they were still together? They probably wouldn't be happy. And of course, this wasn't the first time that Ned was caught cheating on Ariel. He'd cheated on her with many, many women in the past, and it was reported that she knew about some of the times that he'd cheated on her. So yeah, she's gone silent. She's probably still hurting and really embarrassed, but they were caught together by the paparazzi. And that wasn't even that long ago. One thing's for sure is that Ariel can kind of live happily and peacefully knowing that Alex Herring has received her karma and that her entire livelihood and reputation has pretty much been destroyed from homewrecking. So recently there was an article written by Mashable where the writer interviewed a lawyer that represents social media stars and they'd asked the lawyer about the PR crisis that was the Try Guys situation because we can't forget there was a massive power imbalance between Ned and Alex. Ned was her boss at the end of the day, meaning that Alex could have technically sued the Try Guys and so could have the other employees who felt as if she was possibly getting special treatment. So they had to handle this situation with extreme caution because Ned had pretty much effed over their entire company due to what he had done. Luckily, Alex didn't sue but that's not to say she won't in the future. So yeah, this article by Mashable was really interesting because as we can see here, it dived into how the Try Guys handled the situation with their employee Alex at the time. The article reads, are there any adjustments they would make business-wise to ensure that the employee involved felt supported? Doing a workplace investigation with a third party like the Try Guys did is really helpful. That person comes in, talks to her and really tries to understand what happened. You have to be really careful in these situations Situations to handle the employee with kid gloves. You can't abuse that power balance with her or assume that she was responsible for anything. I think that legal will get involved in trying to paper everything, trying to make sure all policies were followed through, everything is in writing. This happened on this day, we spoke to this person, procedure was followed. That's where the lawyer gets involved. They'll probably get her to sign an NDA, maybe they'll pay her off, who knows. They may be like, look, it's not good for employee morale for you to remain on. Maybe we give you six months severance and move on. There's probably already an NDA in her employment contract. If Alex isn't, however, able to find work after this whole scandal, and by the looks of her LinkedIn, it's not looking good, what is she going to do from here? Will she eventually sue? And also, when will she come back to social media? And if she does, will she release a statement? So what are you guys' thoughts on this whole drama? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy, juicy tea.